Look. Oh. That's a problem. Welcome back, and that fucked up Titan screen is there to greet me. Wow. Dan Salvato, you really know how to make a, a fucking game. <laughs> Another day it passes for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, usual scene greets me. Welcome back. Ah, hi Yuri. It's not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, which is, uh, surprisingly normal, considering the way she, she will be. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over to show her looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at the death, and yes, surprisingly Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. For the fucking axe. For that fucking argument? Oh my god. Oh, fucking boy. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Oh, I know! No one in Act 2 is! So like this. It's just... Not, not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri... I'm sure that would be... Sure... I'm happy you were considerate and apologized. But, uh, Natsuki also needs to apologize for calling you an edgy bitch, so... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Even though you've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off already. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems, but whatever it was, it didn't make me any less of you. I had decided there's only one way no way you could be a you could be a bad person. And now you're that you're apologizing, I know you're you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, Stefan, don't say those kind of things so frankly. What? It's his fucking specialty! <laughs> I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. <laughs> but I'm really glad you that you joined this club. Everything is a, is a bit brighter to you around him. Ah, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, yeah. Have you guys seen Monica? I... No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. I guess yes, you have... I'm guessing you haven't either. Gurdy is taken aback by how calmingly Natsuki's addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, right? Can't help but worry about yeah, a little bit. What? You really look at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Harry, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't remember anything bad happening. You're just the kind of person who worries too much about, about the little things, aren't you? But... I'll accept your apology anyways, even if it makes you feel better about it. It's kinda nice to hear what I was afraid, secretly hating. I'm like... <laughs> no, no, no. I don't hate you. The argument said otherwise, but okay. You're kind of weird. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. I'm super sorry. I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. It was not. 
<laughs> what took you so long anyways? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, my last period today was study hall. But to be honest, I kinda lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. Otherwise she was thrashing on the otherwise she was Yeah, she would have. Was she freaking thrashing on the keys? He's like a heavy metal drummer? Like freaking G's. And since I was practicing piano. I don't know. I don't know. Piano? I wasn't where you play music as well, Monica. Oh no, g Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good at it yet. Still, just remember a, a lot of... That must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh, th well thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Yeah! And I guess Natsuki's halfway... Replacing Yuri, I don't know fucking what is up with everybody. Just acting like like Yuri Sayori didn't even exist. It's fucking weird. Ah, that's oh, it looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once a little, maybe once I get a little better, I will. Sounds cool. I look forward to it. That's all. In that case, I won't let you down, SGT fan. Monica swallows sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. I was hoping that it would share, that I could share with you. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm sure Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. Or is it not, not really? But, but I don't know if that's how. I choose not to bring up anything about the thing that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. SGT fan. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together. I mean, at the club. Yeah, definitely. Is it just forcing me onto Yuri's rat? That poem was dedicated to Monica. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. <laughs> Being a little forceful, aren't I? My heart just won't stop bounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, I think it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but... I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Keep, take your time. Jerry takes a deep breath and then pulls a copy, copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I regress. Do you mind if I take make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's something that can make make my reading time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. This stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small pitcher from the shelf. The kind of... <laughs> Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me a small pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in, this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down at the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. Surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Why would that be something to pay attention to? Especially because her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Say it's... I, met it. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. And, uh... Oh, boy. I remember this part. 
Oh god, I remember this part. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is some holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look. Look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be it would be the nearest water fountain. Is she heading down the down the hallway? Oh god, yeah. Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Why is the music getting so filtered all of a sudden? It's like it's being filtered through a tin can now. What the heck? <laughs> a sharp inhale like something is sucking sucking the air through the teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Gary? Jesus. What the fuck? What the fuck? This got dark fast. Ah, uh, forgive me, Lord Jesus, but... Forgive me. Forgive me, Jesus, but... This got... What the heck? What the heck? God. Why is it rewinding itself? What the heck? What the fuck? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently as you cut yourself- As you purposefully cut yourself with a knife in the hallway. Why? I guess Natsuki wasn't joking, was she? You like a move along tea? Ah, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Stage 5. You really do this properly. Of course. I shouldn't do any unless I'm t making tea for others. Third. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case. Yes, you'll only be more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the tea top and begins measuring the tea leaves. That's right, she even starts humming a little bit to herself. Must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was not letting it show. Other than the whistling. I actually noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided I would try expressing myself a little more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. Well, it's... When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. Yeah. Like you Sayori did. Oh, freaking god. <laughs> it's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. She fan. I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, hey, what is that? It's a little bit easier for my back. I can breathe with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? Maybe it do, maybe it has something to do with your posture? I wonder why that is. It's likely because my... That... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. That's what you can see. So that's why. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag, and I have some chocolate as well for some fucking reason. It's just for one weird ass scene. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since I'll. since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit in the wall and take ups at our sides. As if in sync, we assumed the same reading position as last time, so we keep holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. 
Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but, uh, just being less expressive, it's also more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me a teacup, holding it with my hand, and that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes, makes it even harder to focus. Now I need you to worry about making sure you don't make sure I don't accidentally touch your chest. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, but I can only presume the, whom the world around her has faded away. I use all my will willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, we managed to relax a little. I put the teacup up between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. <laughs> ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Sure? If she said she's sure, that's probably fine. It should, then it gets smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. Didn't even think about that. You probably should have, though. My bad. No need to apologize. Are you sure? Of course. Oh, man, there we go. She opens the book with both hands. She holds it so they don't have any harder of a time reading from it. As a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She just simply parts her lips as, as if the situation is completely natural. But that happens, I can't stop her. I apprehensively place the chunk. I guess you can't stop yourself as well. Alright then. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's suddenly looking at me. Did. Did I just. This is me, and then she. Like she needs to confirm what happened. Um, this CT fan. Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Well, oh no. When the music's gone, something's about to happen. CT fan. Suddenly, Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Yes, CT fan. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, SGT fan. I won't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel that SGT fan? Suddenly presses my hand up against Yuri suddenly presses my hand up against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I can't I feel like I'm losing my mind. I won't make it stop. It makes me even not even want to it makes me not even want to read. I just want to look at you. Um what the fuck happened here? What the fuck? Oh, what the... F what the fuck is this? What the absolute shit just happened? I am terrified. <laughs> Go back to the anime eyes, please. Oh, God, why? Oh, oh gosh. Nice save. That is terrifying. It was staring right into my soul. Share bones. Oh, well, let's start with Natsuki. Who's. Hmm. Well, it's not any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's better either. Phew. Phew, what? Ah, uh, anything that isn't a train wreck, and 
I'll take it as a win, and I'll get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, that makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? Ah, glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Uh, keep practicing, maybe you'll get as good as me someday. That's, uh... Something that tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Someone open up a window? It's it, it reeks of hypocrisy in here. It completely reeks of hypocrisy. Let's make sure to find a little bit of influence from someone. I don't think there's at least... And you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know, you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. But, you know, Lodka and I are, I are just as good as her. At poems, I mean. You should really try to learn something or I'll never get better. Or you'll never get better. Here's what I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. It's just the Amy Like Spiders one. I think I already read this one. And you know what? Half the internet needs to take inspiration from that one as well. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's is way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you don't think if that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone who would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of. Hey, if people found out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that makes... That just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone? You know what, it makes them happy. I don't think people need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this very club whom I respect- Whom I respectfully don't name. Okay then. You hate them. Kind of ironic. Like that even in one place- In a place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now we're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. It's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so. You think I chose this? I just put some words together in that first one, and then I forcibly made it into your path, and it still put me on Yuri's. So, whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. Good. Just hope I don't get a weird interaction from Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and, uh, that smile will slowly disappear. I like just holding it. I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh,. Well, there, there are some things that you could work on. But that really doesn't matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. That came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. Like it anything. Wheel. Mm, nah, it's just... as a bunch of objects that are round. And spin. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive at least, so I had to take it out of your pen. Pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it for safekeeping, and um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem up with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Alright, then. Man, I think you saw some of the... Damn right I did, Monica. Damn right I did. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't want to have to tell you about this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't think... I don't know why, but it seems pretty easily... She seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem by itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself in the pocket. That's what I saw earlier. Okay. So she's going to be doing that more frequently. Like she's getting more insane as I interact with her. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. She has a collection of something. It's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she should send some... If them. I don't even like... It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is... You've, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. Actually it kind of is. So I think if you keep your distance, you'd probably be best. Would probably be best for her. While you're done, while you're done at it, why not try to spend a little more time with me? To put it lightly, at least I have together with a freaking head. I don't, and I know how to complete my club, my club members. I mean, yeah, but. Did you make- you fucked with their files. But anyway, I don't want to read my poem now. I like the way this one turned out, so... Dude. Alright, save me. We must delete her. Oh, trust me, I'll save her that crap when it comes time. Um, sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm not trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You unlocked a special boat. Okay. Today I cut my skin for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how it feels, uh, feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though. So I don't think I'm doing it again. And unless I decide to kill myself, I left. I left a memento of the occasion below. Oh, okay. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over. So if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Um. Um. Uh, why am I hearing gore noises in the background? What the absolute fuck happened? It's not like we can put together anything in just a few days. Well, let's just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. Um. Uh, the fuck? That just happened. Hold on. I, I think something will happen. The fuck happened here? Um. Huh? Let me just end it off right here and then let me just end it off end the video off right here because uh the fuck no 
I guess all I could do is just end it off right here. Like and subscribe, I'm out.